guys, so for today's video, I'm going to do what I, a video why I decided uni wasn't for me and why I did an apprenticeship instead. So this title is going to be why I didn't want to go to uni and all that. Well, first off, my words don't let me have any spaghetti straps, so I'm not going to have spaghetti straps. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to do a video on it. So if you're thinking like the same, I don't really want to go to uni, it's not for me, then I failed yeah. Um, I just want to just be like a little bit closer. So the first reason why I didn't want to go to uni is obviously my sister, my oldest sister, has been to uni. So I like sort of knew what uni, you know, you know what uni's like and stuff and she's like she wasn't like all against it or anything and her brother was like oh do you want to go to uni and I was like no and every time uni got brought up I was like no like in new situations I get like really nervous and panicky so I didn't want to go from somewhere where I felt quite comfortable like what am I trying to say? Like, I didn't want to go from like being at home and if I got panicky my mum would be there to going somewhere where I possibly might not know and like be really panicky, panicky all the time not be able to like control it or do anything. Um, I got a lot of friends or like people I knew be like are you going to go to uni and I was like no. I did the stage um, where you like fill in, is it UCAS I think? I did all that, I just didn't send my application off and um, the careers guidance team downstairs was so supportive and were like yeah that's completely fine, I was like I don't want to go to uni but if I do, I could do, I would just press send on my application and that would be done. But a lot of my teachers, when I say a lot of my teachers, most of my teachers were like oh you should go to uni, really smart because I got distinctions on all my assignments bar one but it wasn't because I had a flip or like didn't know what I was doing I was completely comfortable doing it one of the teachers deleted my work but that was a complete other story and luckily she's not so then it comes out and assesses us because she's a prank yeah so yeah, so like a lot of our teachers were like, surely you should go to uni, surely you definitely should go to uni and I was like, don't want to. So Janine was like, oh, so what do you want to do? And I was like, apprenticeship or a full-time job. I said it since my first day of my second year at college. I said it, I don't want to go to uni, I want a job or an apprenticeship. And even then I'm a bit like, nah, do I really? But I managed to get over the hurdle took ages to find an apprenticeship. I'd literally been hunting for like a good six months. Didn't get any. And then it became like the end of my course. And I was like, I don't have an apprenticeship. And like, I hadn't heard from iTech. If you follow me on the channel, you know what iTech is. Um, they're like based in the Northeast and finding an apprenticeship. Like, I couldn't couldn't like they couldn't find me one every time I went for an interview I got oh sorry you didn't get that interview but they didn't tell me why so it'd be really good if you told me why I didn't get it but then um it came to like the last week of college and Leslie good old Leslie love Leslie she uh one of my certificates I went to collect my results and get my certificates and my teacher didn't put in for my certificate didn't put in for one of my certificate. I didn't put my thing in to be like marked and stuff so I could get my certificate. So good old Leslie got it sent out to me. So thanks Leslie, you life saver. Um so yeah. So we're basically like um at the end, like the last week Leslie came up to me and like I heard you want an apprenticeship, I should go on this course and I was but he was like, but I like a new one person at a time who I was fine with at the time and then a lot of rubbish happened but that's a problem not mine. Um, 
so I went on this bookkeeping class and it's an AT bookkeeping class if you want to do AT it's completely cool I've got a level one all that a lot of people in the class um, did customer service which is cool too but me little old me did bookkeeping managed to pass it we're all good um I sort of knew I'd pass like at least half of it so we're all right um so I was fine by that it was cool and then through the course I got you to like apply for apprenticeships and stuff and as he was like right your homework for this week go and apply for this there's loads of spaces and all the company Danielle says you're more likely to get it and everyone in the class that applied for it got it so good old Anya my pal and David got it, and I didn't know he got it. Um, so yeah, so I managed to get an apprenticeship. Um, if you want more about the bookkeeping course or like business class, tell me comments. I'll remember it and do a video on it. But like, I've always knew like uni wasn't for me. I wouldn't want to go like move out and stuff. And obviously, like, I'm still at home. I'm in my own big room, so. Like, if I want to go downstairs, watch TV, I can. If I want to go make food downstairs, I can. Get to see the rabbits, get to see the dog. Like, I wouldn't get to see them. And I'd feel a bit bad if I went to uni and left my rabbit here. Like, obviously, they're in easy and safe hands with my mum, dad and sister and Penny, obviously. Cute dog. Um, so I know he's in safe hands, but I wouldn't want to leave him because after all that time, we got a really bum one. Like, I couldn't couldn't do that to him. Obviously, now, like, I'm working full-time. So, it's a bit difficult to, like, go out and see him. But every now and again. Like, when I get him from college, I'm like, shall I do Penny's food? Penny's the dog, just in case. And then I go, oh, I'll go and do the rabbit's food. So, I do, like, inputs and stuff into it. So, yeah, I always knew, like, uni wasn't for me. I wasn't really interested. I didn't really fancy leaving home. It's like, is there a possibility that I could do it? Like, like I could do it here. Because I knew one of our teachers did it at the university near the college. And I'd have to, like, pay the whole thing. Maybe it'd be a struggle. But, like, I'd have to pay, like, for the course and everything. And I wouldn't get no help and support from, like, student law. Um, but, yeah. So, that is why I didn't go to uni. Don't plan to. Um. But yeah, you can just, you can get the same level as university just by doing apprenticeships and stuff. But I have worked out it is really difficult to get a level three, four and five apprenticeship because I was with Andrew, who's really nice. He's, what's his, what's his job? <laughs> Careers guidance. He's like a really nice and he was like, you've applied for this and it's only a level two. You're capable of doing a level three or a level four. And we literally couldn't find any in the area. And he was like, keep looking. You can always go on that apprenticeship. But keep looking, keep going for it. So I've been like searching all the time, just keeping an eye on it. But I think I'm going to stop because I'm really happy. Where I'm at with this apprenticeship, I've only been doing it three weeks. So I've done two weeks at college, one week at work. It is my second week at work. Obviously, later on, like near Christmas, I'll do like an update of what I think and stuff. Hopefully. Yeah, so basically, I didn't really want to go to uni, didn't really fancy it, wasn't really for me, and I like being, like, like having, like, comfortable things around me. Yeah, it looks cool to have your own route, be in your own place, but, like, sometimes, like, with what happened a few months ago, I really need my family, like, yeah, like, I really need my family more than I need to go to uni and stuff, so even if... Like, I probably still would have done the bookkeeping class if Charlotte, like, mentioned it, even if I wasn't doing it. I would have still probably done the bookkeeping class and that still would have happened. Oh, it would have happened, but I'd be here instead and it's, like, not really worth it. So, I'm glad. Stuck to me guns. And, yeah. So, that is why I went got uni. Sorry it's a bit all over, I'm sorry it's a bit difficult to understand, but yeah, that is why I'm going to go. If you want me to do other videos like this, then tell me in the comments below. 
And I will see you guys soon.